I found me a good thing. So how is everyone coming along with, you know, buying fabric and notions? I know some of us have made New Year's resolutions to not spend without careful planning and thinking, not to just be out here in these sewing streets, just buying things all willy nilly. And I was one of those, but I do know that if I feel like I need something or I want something, I'm going to buy it. I don't actually think I made it one of my resolutions, but I did say that I would be more intentional about my purchases. I came across an item that's kind of a sewing hat and it was something I didn't think about until I was actually in the store. And I will share that with you because I believe this is going to be a big game changer. First of all, I purchased, um, I did just purchase some needles. I needed more universal um, needle. So my husband did pick these up for me at the store. I was also working on a sewing project and I didn't have any denim needles. Yeah. So my husband picked these up and I've never seen these or this brand. And I hope this can be used, you know, with any sewing machine. If you've used this brand, which is, um, Hello Hobby. Um, let me know if these can be used with um, like your regular sewing machines or if this is more for embroidery or not. I'm not really sure. It doesn't say, but hopefully um, these won't go to waste. Some other needles that I picked up that I never seen before, not labeled like this, was um, knit and stretch needles. Let's see. Can you see that? Yeah. Okay knit and stretch needles, and then fleece needles. I've never seen those categories of needles. So when I saw those in Hobby Lobby, I did go ahead and grab those. Also for that same denim project that I was working on, I needed some buttons. So I didn't want to use the buttons in my stash because what I'm working on like deserved much better. So I picked up these buttons here and they were on sale again for 99 cents. Okay, I don't even remember where I was. That was my, uh, my husband's phone was ringing and I ran it to the man cave to him. I think I was talking about these buttons, but um, yes, yeah, so the project that I'm working on deserved much better buttons than the ones that I have. So I picked these up and whew, I'm gonna show you the fabric that I am matching these buttons with. This is the fabric and this is the button. And I think this is going to go very well with the finished product. Let's see. After the buttons, I've been, um, I've been thinking a long time about buying one of those metal um, buttonhole gauges, you know, and just, just because it's a little tedious when you're using a pattern and trying to um, mark all of those buttonholes and button markings. And if I can find something to make, you know, anything that I'm doing easier, that's what I'm going to do. So I did order this from Amazon. This is the packaging. This is a nine piece set. It came with eight black buttons and not like I needed any more, but it was a plus. Nothing wrong with that. But this is the metal button hole guide, I guess is what you call it. I'll take it out the package so you can see it. There we go. So it starts out like this and you can expand it. Now I've never used one of these before. So there is going to be, you know, I'm going to have to get used to this and make myself acquainted with it. But, um, I don't think it should be too hard, but, um, pretty sturdy too. 
Okay, let's back up to those denim needles, okay? Um, first of all, I called my husband while he was out doing some things and asked him to pick those up because the sewing machine that I was working on was kind of having a hard time getting through the fabric and I knew I needed to change the needle because I had made a couple of things with that same needle in there and it was just kind of having a hard time. And um, I didn't realize I didn't have more denim needles. So I'm like, I don't want to put the project down and wait for him to get here because I may not pick it back up tonight and like I was in like this really good rhythm. Then I thought about it, I'm like, Girl, you got a heavy duty sewing machine. Pull that thing out. And that's what I did. And I was like, duh, you did a whole video on this machine and how many layers of denim is sewed through like butter. And like butter, it helped me get through this project with ease. So that's what I did until he got home. Cause if you notice, this pack of needles hasn't even been open. So yeah, now, you think I'm bad at buying fabric? At least I am intentionally not going down the fabric aisle and trying not to buy what I don't need. Because if I'm just going over there, I don't need anything, right? I'm just going and looking. And chances are, I'm going to see something that I like. But my husband has become like this fabric connoisseur. I'm trying to avoid the fabric owl, but as we're passing by, he turns down the owl and I'm like, what you doing? He's like, oh, I thought you wanted to look at some fabric. I said, but I didn't stop. <laughs> so he stopped and he found this wonderful, wonderful rib knit fabric. It's two yards for four dollars and like this kind of pinkish. I don't know what you call this mauve, maybe. I don't know. But anyway, he found this and I was like, baby, I don't really need any more fabric. He was like, well, this looks like it would make a nice, you know, little fitting dress, you know, that you could wear out or around the house or whatever. And I said, OK, so while I was looking at that one and being forced to get it. I found one in my favorite color, which is purple. Well, one of my favorite colors which is purple. So I did go ahead and pick this up. And when I saw this, I thought about like a nice little lounge set that I can wear around the house. Maybe like even, you know, like a lounge cardigan or a little robe or something like that. And then I thought about him saying to make this into a dress. And I was like, well, two yards may not really be enough. So I went back to get the other bundle that was there. And I thought they were the same color, but I didn't realize that they weren't until I got home. They're like just off a little bit, not quite the same. So I figured, you know, I could still use these two fabrics together because it's not very noticeable. And then I also went ahead and picked up this one as well. I did go on Walmart the other day and I saw that they have like um, a few more of these bundles, but I did not buy them and I was very proud of myself so this was in total like eight yards for $16, which was really, really good. Now to that sewing hack. Okay. So my husband and I were in Hobby Lobby looking for the planner aisle. I saw something that caught my eye. Right on the end were these boards. And I was like, hmm, this might be good for me to use for my fabric. Yeah, my closet is a mess right now, okay? I would show you, but um, I don't even have time for that tonight. I'll show you that in a later video because that closet is like a mess and I have to get it together. There is like fabric everywhere. There's a bin just everywhere, bolts of fabric. And I have to do something different because as I use the fabric, I'm putting it back in there, but it's not quite as neat and it's just not looking too good to me. So... I knew I needed to do something different where I could save some space and kind of compress what I have, right? So I was on the cake decorating aisle and I saw these white 10 by 14 cake boards, okay? Y'all, these things are very sturdy and look how well they hold your fabric. This is 10 by 14. 
They came six in a pack for $4.99. There were four packs on the shelf and I bought all four of those. So that gave me like 24. And when I got home, my daughter, she um, immediately started wrapping them with fabric for me. And oh my God, when I put them in my closet, I was overwhelmed by how much space it saved. It saves so much space. So this will be my new go-to. I'm going to do a whole video on my closet and my reorganizing because um, it's a mess in there right now. I'm surprised my husband hasn't made a big fuss about it. I mean, there's bags of fabric in there that I haven't put up because I didn't have folks to put it on and I just haven't ha even had the energy to put it up. But um, I will share that content with you because... Y'all don't, y'all don't understand. This is a game changer. So if you are like looking for a different way to organize or, you know, something like that, try to cake boards, you know, um, definitely will save you some space, a whole lot of space. I'm probably going to gain back like 50% of my side of the closet once I get all of my fab, fat, Once I get all of my fabric re-wrapped, okay? Now, if you've enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit that like button. And why not just hit subscribe while you're at it? Leave me a comment below and make sure you have that notification bell turned on so that you can catch my organization video. Until next time, keep sewing.